It's the middle of November and it's the time of year when the weather is going to be working against me. I've had rain, I've had sleet, hail, snow, I've had it all and that's only the middle of November. So I want to make sure that my drive to work and, and basically anywhere is as safe as possible. The best way to do that is to make sure I have good visibility, that I'm safe and less stressed while driving in inclement conditions. That's why today I'm going to be applying two different glass sealants to the windscreen of that car over there. Today's video is about Alien Magic glass sealants. So, uh, Rob at Alien Magic very, very kindly sent me these down. Uh, so, we've got two different glass sealants. You may be asking why. Well, that's what I'm going to explain to you here. Uh, first up, this is Pro One. And Pro One is a longer lasting product, which takes a little bit more time and effort to apply. Uh, this is Glass Pro. And this one is a little bit easier and perhaps slightly quicker to apply but they will both give good results. You see, uh, a glass sealant or a rain repellent, I mean, you've probably heard of Rain-X, it's available everywhere. It's a decent product, but it doesn't last any decent amount of time, unfortunately. Um, and that's to be expected for something you, you find in the supermarket, but when you go elsewhere and you find more uh, professional brands like these guys, um, you will find that there are many products which are able to um, look after your glass for a longer period of time. And they're designed to be very, very hydrophobic. So when you're driving uh, in wet weather, uh, up to a certain speed, um, generally around about 40 miles an hour, once you get to that speed, you'll find that the wind and the airflow over the car is able to push the, uh, the rain off your windscreen. As you're driving along, you'll see it all shooting up your windscreen and, and being blown off. That's great because that means one thing, you don't have to worry about remembering to switch on your wipers. Uh, it also helps because you're not using your wipers as much. Your wipers are going to last a little bit longer. If you have um, ice forming on your windscreen, it tends, in my opinion, opinion and my experience to be a little bit easier to remove. The ice still forms, it doesn't stop it from forming, but it does become a little bit easier to get off your windscreen, to scrape it off because it's not able to stick quite as well. I certainly have noticed that recently. Um, so that's the, the main difference. Also, um, they have a, a slight difference in their, um, their working time for how long they will last. Uh, Pro One will last between 6 and 12 months and Glass Pro will last between six and nine months. Pro One is $14.99 for this 50 milliliter glass bottle, and uh, the 200 milliliter Glass Pro, that's $15.99. You pay a little bit more because you get more product in it, um, and also it's a slightly more convenient product to use. Uh, what I also got uh, in the post from Rob, uh, very kindly he sent me their um, diamond glass cleaner which I'm going to go over the windscreen very quickly to make sure nothing is on the glass at all and also these applicators this is mainly for Pro One there's one of these foam blocks and uh, what you do with these these are micro suede applicators if I just grab one of these come on you beast there we go what you do is you lay this across the applicator and you pinch it either side so you've got this and what you would do is you would drop Pro One onto this and then use that to apply it onto your glass. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go 50-50 on this car, it's my other half's car. And one side, the driver's side, I'll apply Pro One. And on the passenger side will be Glass Pro. And uh, we'll look at the difference before and after uh, the application. All right, so let's just pretend you're driving in the rain right now and, uh, and the rain comes off and uh, you know, you forget to switch on your wipers, or let's say that uh, a car has come the other way, or a lorry, that's happened to me many times in the past. A lorry drives in the opposite direction and splashes up a bunch of water onto your windscreen. Without protection, this is how it sits. Completely flat, it just lays on top of your glass. That is really annoying you really struggle to see anything when you're driving along and you have this much water sitting on your glass. It's a real 
difficulty. I know it doesn't look so much of an issue here in the garage, not moving, but if all of that gets thrown up onto your windscreen, let's say that was a bucket load of water, that would really uh, make it very, very difficult for you to see while you're driving. And that's not safe. That is all just gonna be sitting there. If you've got real heavy rain and you forget to switch on your wipers or God forbid your wipers don't work properly, then you know this is this is what you're going to end up with that is not ideal so what we want to do now is uh, apply these two glass sealants in my last video i showed how to uh, clean this glass properly and it really has been fully cleaned with the exception of a couple of bits around the edges here you'll see it on the last video there but this is where i didn't go right up to the very edge with the machine polisher uh, so you can see there's a little bit of untreated glass there but that's okay because you can see there that's where that black section of the windscreen is <clears throat> can't see through that so that's not going to cause us any issues there uh, this is all outside of the viewable visible area so what I'm going to do now is dry off this glass give it a quick clean over with the diamond glass cleaner and then we can get cracking with applying the two glass sealants so it does mention on the uh, bottles that the glass must be spotlessly clean uh, and as you saw in the last video I did as much as I could to receive every kind of contamination possible on this paint, uh, on the glass sorry. So uh, I've just got my glass cloth again on a different side here and I'm going to be using the, the glass cleaner here, diamond glass cleaner and uh, we're just going to give this once over just to make sure there's absolutely nothing on the glass prior to application. All right, it's time for application of Pro One to begin with. So uh, application directions are that the windows must be spotlessly clean. Keep in mind, you can use this on all of the glass, not just the windscreen, but for this demonstration, it will just be the windscreen. Apply this using a cotton applicator or lint-free cloth. In that case, in that situation, we're gonna be using these micro suede applicators. Um, once applied, buff off the remaining residue with a clean microfiber this will cure in 15 minutes and will be ready for a second coat if required. That's what I'm going to do to make sure I get the most out of the product. It's going to get two coats. So 15 minutes between coats is pretty good going. Uh, so let me just very quickly unscrew this bottle. And you've got this little kind of dropper arrangement here. And we're gonna drop a few drops onto the applicator like so. such a small amount I mean it's barely anything at all so let's go across this in a, a side to side and then back and forth manner and basically you need to keep watching it because it looks like you're applying water so if it looks like it's starting to go dry all you need to do is apply a little more I'd say that's about now and then keep going I'm only applying it to the areas which would be visible while driving and I'm going to go up and down now to get a nice even coverage Simple as that. Now let's just grab uh, a buffing towel 
So I've got a short pile microfiber here and I'm just going to buff this off so that it's clear. I'm not pressing hard. I'm only wiping off the residue so that uh, that can cure and the second layer will be easy enough to apply. being very meticulous about this uh, residue, but I just want to get everything off. Okay. Now let's move on to Glass Pro. So Glass Pro, like I say, it comes in a 200 ml spray bottle, a little bit different application to the uh, Pro One, but uh, make sure that's unlocked. So the application instructions for this are to spray directly onto the glass and onto a microfiber cloth. Well, for that, I'm going to be using uh, a microfiber applicator pad and uh, apply it in circular motions and buff off the remaining residue with a clean microfiber cloth for full transparency. This will be cured in 20 minutes and ready for a second coat application. Once you've applied your second coat, leave it for a further three hours in a dry place to achieve its properties. So. It's easier to apply, but it takes longer overall to be ready to use. But we'll go ahead and give this a try anyway. So a couple of sprays onto the glass and onto uh, the microfiber, I think, is the way to go for this. Only because I don't want the microfiber to be uh, absorbing the sealant. Circular motions. Okay, and a clean microfiber. Another one of these. Uh, we will buff off the residue. Okay, the residue on the uh, Glass Pro is slightly easier to remove. I can also feel uh, a difference in the slickness of the glass. It has changed, it's become more slick. So we'll now give those some time to cure. Well, I've got to give 20 minutes for uh, Glass Pro, and that only took me a few minutes. So we'll give the, uh, the Pro One about 10 minutes before uh, reapplying its second coat. Okay, so that's had some time to cure. Let's go back and reapply a second coat of Pro One to uh, this side of the windscreen again. A few drops. I'll do the same way again, side to side and then up and down. In fact, it goes a little bit further now, I think because there's already some on the windscreen it allows it to travel a bit further. It's a bit more slick and uh, there's already some repellency there, I think. All right, even application there. Let me grab my uh, buffing towel again and buff all that off. Okay, that is buffed and uh, we've also had enough time, curing time, to be able to carry on with the application of Glass Pro now. All right, so the same situation as before, a few sprays to the glass, a few on the microfiber. Just like that. And we'll work it in circles. Okay, that's an easy, even application. And we'll buff off the residue again. You can actually see a difference 
where uh, some of this product has oversprayed onto the other side, they behave differently. You can see there's a line. But that comes off just a little easier than Pro 1. So there we go. Now they've been evenly applied, I'm going to leave this car for three hours in a dry place. That's what's stated on the bottle. Uh, let me just double check that there. Yep, uh, leave it for a further three hours in a dry place to uh, allow it to achieve its properties. So this car is going to sit here for the next three hours and hopefully there's not too much heavy rain. There has been a little bit of rain. Um, so hopefully it stays dry enough for this to cure properly and then I'll get the hose out and we will check to see if there is a difference uh, with the hydrophobic properties on the glass. All right, so um, this is probably rubbish video quality, but um, the, the car has been sitting. I've got my little torch here because um, I don't have enough light in the garage. Uh, but I want to show the difference now. The, the glass has had a little more than three hours of curing time. So uh, I've still got the, the hose here. Let's have a look at the difference now uh, about the, uh, the water behavior. So, well, I'll be honest, I'm kind of disappointed with Glass Pro. It really looks like it hasn't done anything. I don't know if it's the, the temperature being so cold, but honestly, it's doing nothing. Uh, Pro 1, on the other hand, that is coming off pretty well, actually. A big deluge of water there. It's beading. It's running off the glass quite nicely. But surprisingly, it's, uh, it's, not, it's not coming off um, the other side. Let me uh, bring you in a bit closer here. I'm really surprised by that. Let's go in here. So this is the side that had Glass Pro. And you can see that is just sitting like a sheet. Like I say, it may be a temperature thing. It is absolutely freezing cold right now. But let's uh, bring the camera across to the other side. This has got Pro 1. There we go, and you can see that's coming off the glass quite nicely. So there's definitely a sealant effect going on there. Yep, that's coming off exactly as you would expect it to. I'm really disappointed with the other side. I don't know what's going on there, but um, it applied easily. Um, very strange, I'm pouring water all over myself there, so yep, there is literally a 50-50 line right there. I wonder if I can capture this right where the uh, air fresheners are. Let's get this hose again. You see that difference there? One side, you've got really nice water behavior, other side, it's like a sheet. I am really, really surprised by that. I don't know what's going on there. I can't explain it. But there you go. This is what happens when you uh, when you test products. Sometimes something goes wrong, and uh, I'm not entirely sure what went wrong. Uh, but for some reason, it looks like Glass Pro just completely failed to bond with that side of the glass with two coats on it. It's done nothing, but Pro 1 over there, that's working absolutely fine. Well, there you go. So there you have it. Um, a really surprising turnout there. Um, not the result I expected at all. Um, so I, I really can't explain it. Perhaps it was the temperature situation. Uh, being that it is bitterly cold, it is zero degrees outside 
Um, my car is out in the in the street, freezing over at the moment. Pro One worked really well actually, and was surprisingly easy to apply. I've seen many products which come in very small bottles, um, and um, they require more effort to apply, and they are supposedly more difficult to take off as well. Um, but this applied easily and came off easily actually. I was really surprised by that. It buffed off very very nicely indeed. Um, it was a it was a pleasure actually. Um, and didn't really take a huge amount longer than uh, than Glass Pro, to be fair. Um, Glass Pro, um, it was very easy to apply, buffed off very easily, but just didn't seem to bond correctly. I can't explain it. Sometimes these things happen, you know, um, that's just the way it is. You may buy it and find that it works great. Not entirely sure what happened there. I might need to uh, test this again uh, on a different car and see how well that works. Um, I did like the, the glass cleaner though, that was very nice cleaner. It um, had more of an alcohol smell to it, uh, which makes me think it's a high alcohol cleaner. Yeah, there's a, there's definitely, that's what it smells like to me, I may be wrong. Um, but I like that kind of cleaner, you know, it's, it's good, it helps to um, evaporate off uh, to avoid streaking. Uh, now, application of Pro One uh, came in very handy, very useful using the, uh, the foam block there with the uh, the micro suede applicator. Um, that was a very, very easy way of uh, applying it nice and even. Uh, I like that, but they do say on the bottle, you don't have to use that. Uh, you certainly can use, I believe, uh, uh, a cotton applicator. So that would be um, one of these things, you know, the sort of your, your girlfriend's makeup pads, these things, you can use that as well. Um, so very, very straightforward and simple. And, um, and it gave good results on that side actually. It was it was very nice. So there you have it, now you know. Um, like I said, these are not the only uh, glass sealants, rain repellents on the market. There are many, many others. Um, there are even the kind where you can spray them onto your glass and just rinse them off and you've got some protection. What I would say to you is, no matter what you choose, choose something. Even if it's, uh, uh, what do you call it, a screen wash. There are screen washes, I've got a couple down there. You can buy screen washes which have some rain repellent uh, chemicals as part of their makeup so that whenever you spray and uh, clean your windscreen you're laying down a little bit of that, um, that rain repellency into your screen wash and therefore it's going onto your windscreen and it does help. I would say something is better than nothing. Some products are better than others at doing this. Pro One. $14.99 for that little bottle, which will go a long way. I mean, I barely used any of it. So that'll last a long time. Um, that was great. I could have gone around all the rest of the, the glass and probably done another 10 cars. I, I felt like I used just the smallest amount of it. So very, very good value for money there. You're going to get a lot of uses out of it. I'm just, uh, I'm a little bit gutted about um, Glass Pro there. Don't know what happened. Uh, but you know, that's that's the way it goes. Maybe I've just got a dodgy batch Anyway, um, if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead give it a like also consider subscribing to the channel And if you do that then make sure you ring the notification bell so you don't miss my next video upload in the meantime I've been Specky. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video